no. Uh, I'm, I'm with a with a friend, and she um, uh, she wants to ask. Okay. She has a question. I'm, I'm very nervous, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi, this is Anita. Hi. Um, I have a very critical okay. question. We were even arguing about it, and um, so um, I would like to know. I I feel that you are suggesting suggesting that uh, you're the only one um, that can um, bring people to Ananda, and other gurus can't. And um, I was wondering. Uh, and Tom says, you don't mean it like that. So I would like to know if I am completely getting you wrong or how do you mean that if you say something in, in that suggests something like, or that sounds like that yeah, in my absolutely. ears. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Can you understand question. what thank I'm you for trying asking. to say? Thank you for asking. No, I can totally, yeah. No, I totally get that. And it's and not finished yet. Because... Be, yeah, it needs to be clarified. Uh, yeah. But may I, may I say why, why I'm not agreeing with that? Because then you have a a, 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 a more complete um, idea of what I yeah. why I I can't agree with you, and I would like mm -hmm. I I want to challenge you to well no, to well, show no. that you're right. It's just basically understand. <laughs> so, because, it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because because yeah. Let me let me let me finish. Yeah, because um, other gurus. Yeah. I think everybody needs their own, like there are seven religions in the world and um, every person needs something else. And there are many people who are, uh, especially now in this time, getting enlightened and not even, even without a guru. So how can you say such a thing? Because you don't know all these other people and that would mean that nobody is getting enlightened right now. Uh, because only the people with you are getting in line. So yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's not realistic. You see, I, I like your smile. So please try to enlighten me about what you mean when you yeah, say yeah, something yeah, like okay, that, because yeah, I'm going to yeah, hit I you. It. I got it. I know, <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. let's, to understand what I'm, uh, what I'm meaning, okay, what I mean. Um, so, okay. Okay. I really, yeah. I really okay. like to understand. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, as far as there, there are three levels of enlightenment according in our in our Vaishnava teaching. Um, there are three le three levels of enlightenment. One is okay. Brahman level, which is basically you feel the oneness of the absolute truth. There, there, where there's a place in consciousness where we're all one. We're all one. Yeah. Okay. And and. The, yeah. So, like, like, for for example, like Nisargadatta says, um, "I am the absolute," and he says also, "I am the absolute Brahman." So yeah. that's a form it, yeah. of but it's, it, yeah, but it's yeah, but it's a form of enlightenment, but it's only yeah. partial, because it's it's not the full understanding of who we really are. It's partial understanding, and there's a little bit of speculation because of not going to the the other dimensions of enlightenment there's an there's two other levels and and each has its quality huh? okay because um enlightenment is something we can't understand because when we when when it's with the mind um enlightenment is only something we can feel with the heart and from there live but it's not to be able to under we, it's not to be understood because then it's not about the absolute anymore if we start to talk about words and understanding then it's with the mind and the absolute is um, um how do you say that it's it's topping that so as as soon as we start to use words enlightenment now, is that's, out of the see, door that's 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 what you think but that's not actually the actual experience of the, the uh, Brahman level, uh, no, the uh, Bhagavan level of enlightenment. It's it's not, huh? Okay, what? you go. Yeah. To... Yeah, okay. Uh, explain. Two other levels, okay. So there are two and, other and levels. Let's just go to the topmost level, okay? The topmost yeah. level, okay. Topmost level yeah. is, is, is the, uh, is the, uh, uh, 
is the antithesis. It's well, it's the other side. It's the other side of this world. This world in we have thought here in this world, right? We have feelings in this world. We have uh yeah. Yeah. And we have a body in this world. Yes. Okay. When in the perfect enlightenment is they call yeah. but in our in our line it's taught is Bhagavan realization, where you realize the transcendental nature of the soul in its full expression. And that's and that's with a transcendental mind and the transcendental emotions. See? So that's why um this goes beyond just it's you know, who taught this in our line was Lord Chaitanya. 500 years ago and it's called uh, yeah it's called simultaneous know, oneness and difference so one feels simultaneously one with the absolute and they feel their unique soul body awaken so there's a relationship hmm? and the and the difference sorry if I, I i interrupt and the difference for me then is what you mean is I what I understand now, if I'm understanding it right, is uh, that the difference is the duality, and what tops that is the absolute. Is what how you were calling just the, the what were you saying? You said the difference and the totality. Okay. Um, totality. Yeah. Right, you said. Let's talk about duality first. Okay. First level of enlightenment. Huh? No. No. Please, 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 please go back. Please go back to what you were okay. saying again. Okay, okay. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, right. I'll get mixed so, up. Yeah. So one and one different. different. Okay. So one and different. Yes. There's a spirit. Yeah. One and different. There's a one spiritual duality yeah. in in perfect enlightenment. See, spiritual duality. The soul now is awakened to its relationship with with the supreme personality of Godhead. There's a supreme being, and he's a He's a transcendental person. He has transcendental qualities and transcendental emotions. And so this is, in our line, you get to that stage. And if you're in, in the lines of other people that are teaching enlightenment at certain level, other levels, those other two levels, uh, that's as far as you go and as far as you can understand because you can only understand what they understand, your gurus and teachers who are in those lines. Okay. But yeah. So I'm sorry, but then then I see that for me, uh, then then uh, this is is uh, th that's not my my truth, because a, a personality is always some identified and can't be anything else than identified. Even if it's um, so, I have what what I have learned just just in the last few years, and which I'm very happy with actually, is that uh, personality is gone when when we realize that we are the absolute because personality is connected to the body and time and 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 um that's not has nothing to do with the absolute to my first question um i would uh, like to uh, understand what you mean see. when you say that is there, um can you guys see, that, i can't see you guys okay that's good enough you, we can see okay you. go ahead we can see you yeah so thank you that's great um so what i would r like to understand is why and, and and what you mean when you say that uh um when you suggest in my ears that you're the only one that only in your sangha uh people can find enlightenment i would really like to understand first of all first of all um i can't say that we're the only sangha that happens i haven't seen any that this kind of thing to this extent and the degree of realization I just haven't seen. And I've always say, uh, maybe you heard it in the video, but I usually say, I'm open to learning. I'm open to, if anybody has this kind of real revelation and realization and experience the absolute, I loved it. Loved it. I mean, man, more than prayer. <laughs> I just yeah. haven't seen. It may be we're one of the few, yeah. if not the only. I don't know if any. I've come from anybody, you know. And if not, this is we're we're the place then, at least for those who contact it. If you're contacting another place where yeah. this is going on, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, you know, because no, this is the time for many people to waken up. So, um, I, I um, so yeah, so the so, um, um, it, I, I think, I think it's a pity if, if you say that, you know, because it's not true, it's just simply not true that it wouldn't be good for the world if it were true, you know, <laughs> and uh, and it's so nice that this is. Uh, you make your own contribution, but I see the, 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 that many, many people are getting enlightened now, really, truly, um, mastering their feelings and emotions, and um, it's in many groups and in, in many, um, because I don't look uh, at one, I, I just look around, you know, and I pick up something here, I pick up something, I'm um, being eclectic, and just, uh, and sometimes, somehow I always find what I need in the moment, and um, I really love Tom. So that's why I, I want to understand why and how you are saying what you're can saying. I, so um, so I can be there can for, I for him as well. That, uh, um, uh, see, you say many people are getting enlightened, but kind of qualities of enlightenment that I understand yeah. personally, seeing that you're saying, how you're expressing yourself, Getting where I'm talking about. Yeah. You, you, just in direct and frank. That's not the kind of enlightenment I call this mode. Not understanding. You think you, you have these ideas. Oh, there's no analysis in the way and all that stuff. It's the, it's the level. That's not what that, that's what that. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying is that um, I think that the absolute has nothing That's to do with personality. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying the absolute no has everything think... to do with transcendental personality. There's a transcendental personality that is not known on the first level no. of enlightenment. First level of Brahman. Okay. Yeah, but then you can... Okay, then, then you have to be careful with your words become, because then that there is no, that's what I said. Go ahead, Did say you hear it again. Me? Okay, because then you can't speak about personality anymore because personality is always connected no, to no, no, uh, no, no, time no, no, and no. body. It's not. And that is not. It's not always. It's not always, it's only on the level of Maya, illusion. On the level of illusion, um, it's called Maha Maya. It's, it's connected with material personality. It's only temporary. But we have a spiritual personality can, that has to do with transcendence and, and uh, eternal, they call this Yoga Maya, spirit. It is not known by yeah but then, then, but what the, the, then 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 there is no personality anymore if you transcend if you tra if you are transcended that's why you can't go beyond your dissolved. level of enlightenment we have gone beyond that we are teaching something beyond that and the only way to open up to it then why are that, that, that's then why do you have to 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 um, then why do you talk as if you are against this and against that? Because if you talk like that, then you're not all encompassing and all encompass all encompassing things. Then there is no um, um, not this and and not no. that. Then there is just only oneness. I know you want to. I want to. Yeah, you know, I know I you understand. But you, get the it. only way you can understand where I'm talking about is you have to see somehow that you have to realize that you can't understand where I'm talking about by speculating on what you think it is. It's not what you say. I mean, I'm just going to tell you the truth. It's not what you say. It's not what you think, because you can't understand this level. It has to come through a disciplic line and all your situations of what you think enlightenment is, because you're only at a certain level. And you have, to go beyond it, you have to hear from a realized soul about the transcendental personality of Godhead and his emotional state. Yeah, but Nisargadatta is a realized soul, and, no, I, and, I, and I completely understand, understand what, what he's saying. No, 
There's so no way you can completely understand. You don't show the symptoms. I'm not saying no, no. That's not what I said. I said I don't. I don't oh, understand okay. what you are saying. Okay. I I okay. completely understand okay. what Nisa Gadata is okay. saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying really, yeah. you have to hear no, patiently, because... and and. can do it it depends on you and your soul's you know ability and your desire uh, but this is the path is you throw away your ideas of what you think enlightenment is and you start to learn start again and 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 just like open otherwise it's like that um, that story of a person who goes to a, a, a master a spiritual master and they want to learn from they're so filled with their own ideas and everything. The master just keeps pouring tea over and it spills over. He said, that's you. You're too full with your own ideas and you can't learn. It's like I have new people like uh, Tom, like um, Christina. They were open and they were, you know, they were able. No, I didn't, so you're saying I I didn't can't say learn. that. You I'd don't know say, me. But right <laughs> now you're full of thing, ideas about what enlightenment and so as that is let go of actually, actually i'm not because i know that I, I any i just know that any idea is just a concept and any concept and there is no concept in the world again that see can that's your idea see that's your idea and, and that's, that's wrong according to this level it's right according to your level but it's wrong according to this level of understanding Yes, it has words. The absolute has Plenty. no we, words. We're speaking it, about the absolute all the time. But their words are transcendental from a word person who has realized that transcendental realm. The transcendental word of the Lord can be understood when real bhakti, pure love of God is awakened in the heart. You can begin to understand the transcendental nature of ecstatic love and it, conclusive truth. That's that's this level of unrealization. I have pure devotion in my heart for God and for 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 anything and everything in the world. And I I it's my experience that a word, only one word, can all can already transcend us. But then if it really transcends, then there are no so words I left. I didn't quite that's all. Get that. If if I said any word can transcend us, and if we are truly transcended, then there are no words left. Well, actually, that's not my experience of absolute truth, but if that's yours, you know, that's your level. Oh, then you did not, then you didn't experience yeah, the absolute. Yeah, you see, again, yes. you're so <laughs> filled. Listen, be honest okay, with but you. thanks. You're so <laughs> filled with your idea that you know, and and that's the way it is, and that's okay. That's the way you are. You know, I'm here for people that are not filled, I don't, I don't, that are this, open to I listening. Don't know. No, you think I know you know that what I don't enlightenment know. is. I don't know anything. And until you're at the point you're not open, I can't really talk to you because you already know what enlightenment is. But I'm saying you don't know the full extent. Of no, the truth can be expressed in words. you got to hear transcendental I, words, I, and then you can be you can't you know i just will argue a little bit it's i just good, good i just know i don't know and 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 <laughs> I, yeah good nice yeah, thanks good. i i yeah, I, I like this this is the first time i can do this um i i just know that i don't know i know that i and 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 you know to know to just really understand and believe that and feel that that is um that's all. And that's why I know, I know, because um, um, it's very simple. <laughs> it's very simple. It's not more than that. Yeah. And, and uh, I can, I can, you, you know, because if somebody is enlightened, you can't say I am enlightened. You can't say that because um, nobody else can see that but you, you know? And 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 so um, 
I, I, my neighbor can be enlightened, but I could never see if she is because that's what truly enlightenment is. You can't recognize it because for everybody, it's something else. And for everybody, it looks like something else. And that's... Um, Not according to mine. No, it's not understanding. It's feeling, and it's 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 knowing. You can't understand it. No, That's what, yeah, it's, what according I'm trying to, to say. Your you can't understand vision, it. According to That's... your experience, according to mine, it's not like you say. I have a different experience of enlightenment, a different experience of the truth, and to me, it, yeah. You know, hmm? okay. And I'm. Good. And I'm going to try, okay. and I'm going yeah, to try okay, to good, understand good, 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 that. Good, good, good. That's what I'm yeah, going try, to do. You know, try and see from this perspective, because it's different. It's, uh, and, uh, you know, and see what is stronger. See if your side, when you, if you just kind of continue to hear right, gradually, it's not something you can understand quickly, usually, you know, usually it's gradual. But what makes what but but what makes oh yeah okay so you mm -hmm. think you have another mm -hmm. kind of transcendence that you uh, um, give then others depends to, on the others and that's why you it said depends on the said, others I, if, that's if what the others depends. are in this line and they really know then they can also transmit you know they got to be a real uh, live wire in this line in this particular line yeah because. Sorry, I was thinking, I, because my guru uh, is Satya Sai Baba, and um, from what I um, understood from, from, from his teachings is that, um, uh, that, and what I feel and what is really new in the last few years is that uh, if, if you're getting somewhere, rules are falling away, because your conscience um, uh, is big enough to not need the rules. And then you also get the experience that one time this rule does not apply. And then the other time the rule does apply, you know, that kind of thing. And so, and then, it, so the rules are starting to fall away. So, and then the guru also starts to fall away. And that the last part of it is we can't follow the guru anymore. We have to start following ourselves because the, the 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 highest guru is 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 me you know and then because um like my guru says i'm god and i i realized it but but uh, and you don't know yet that you are god you know so and i'm not saying i'm always in in that in that in that state of mind but um anytime i want i can feel it i can feel what he what he means and i can connect to it and um and um, but I can only do that when I'm on my own. You know, mostly with other people, I it goes down the drain. But um, but um, what I was trying to say is how, how, that. Um, okay. How do you think? Yeah, I'm glad you that? asked. I'm glad. How do you, you think about that? that, that it's in, very in important the end? question with, or comment that you just made. What if I told you there is a better experience than being okay. God? No, no. There that, is no is, God, no. What if, so, what if I mean, there was a better um, experience, yeah. a better happiness, a, a better spirituality, a better realization than than um, than thinking of yourself as God? A better, more, more juice. What if I told you that? Would you it, like to know? Um, it, or um, try to understand. I would, of course. I, I, okay. I'm think I'm thinking about what I what you, what you're saying now and what it means to me. What you're saying, and what it means to me is like um, the word God also disappears then when 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 um, when 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 you're getting there. You know, it's like um, your soul. Um, becomes one with with the absolute with the the all the, the all soul eh? and um well if i would be there i would be uh, i would just burn into ashes right now and go up in into it i mean i think that that's possible but 
Um, so what you're saying to me is like, what would what would you think? What would you think? What do you think if 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 there is okay. no yeah, God, yeah. you go well, on. I can listen. Well, I'm now. saying there's yeah? a better experience than just being one with God or thinking you're God or say you're not thinking, but you're in this thing of being God. Because you did mention that you did use that word. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. a better experience than that. Yeah, and I can, I can, there's I a can deeper truth, a, a, yeah. a deeper understanding of truth than that. That's just part, of, and that's what this simultaneous oneness and difference yeah. is. So Lord Chaitanya came to teach. At 500 years ago, consciousness was uh, evolved. Okay. I understand what you do. Okay. I understand well, what you're saying. Well, what do you understand? Yeah. Tell me what you. Uh, just what you said now, like uh, there, there. Um, shoot, I I miss the words now. Um, I was just like, yeah, I I understand. I understand okay. what you. Right. Um, can you repeat those words? Just that. All right. There's a there's there, Lord yeah. Chaitanya. Okay, Lord Chaitanya I know, I know came 500 years ago to facilitate a jump in a uh, in awareness, a new level of awareness, and it's still in force. It's going deeper than just a, a oneness realization of the absolute truth. This oneness, be, there's a deeper revelation and realization. And that simultaneous oneness and difference in the sense of you begin to taste that absolute experience in your natural Godhead with that consciousness. And it becomes a personal relationship. You start the person God begins to manifest in his form, just like we have a material form. See? And an incomplete understanding is let's dissolve the form and just be love and just be one with God. Okay. That's incomplete understanding. There's a deeper level where that form, the spiritual form manifests and that's eternal, not temporary like this. It's an eternal form meant to eternally re relish a relationship with the transcendental form of God, Krishna. Krishna is a person. Krishna is a transcendental person. And we are transcendental devotees. We have devotion and meant to sport with that Godhead forever. See, there's a realm of consciousness, a dimension of being, where our soul is awakened to this eternal relationship. And not just to be the God and one with God, but simultaneously one, but sporting in relation. That's what's teaching, actually. Very, very few people have realized it. And it's it's actually instated in our scriptures that very few people have realized this. But from even one person who's realized it, many can be made. Many can be, if you become a disciple, you can begin to enter this realm very easily. Okay, go ahead. I would like to ask if what you, if, if, if I'm, if I get what you're saying and then uh, that's actually what what um, what mm -hmm. I'm going for right now is that I if I completely accept duality, yeah, and can can embrace it completely and one with it completely, then my oneness becomes personal actually because it's becomes because it's um, there through me, yeah, is and then. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm vibrating. Tom is, uh, he's, um, I, um, he's, he's going through a lot now. <laughs> and he's, um, 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 <laughs> I was just disturbed by him. Okay. I'm just vibrating. <laughs> he's, he's trembling, you know, and I felt, I felt this trembling. I thought was going on. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. He's energetically, um, trying to, to, um, materialize all this. And I, um, and what I yeah. feel just right now, and then I, then I completely understand what you're saying, and just okay. try if, uh, see if I'm okay. if I'm Great. if Great. I if we if we get each other now, okay? Because what I see like is that when I can, for example, be angry, yeah, without disconnecting, but if I'm angry, 
uh, realizing that in this moment, that this is um, completely um, like Jesus. Eh? He was in this. Uh, he he was in the marketplace and he was got angry, but he didn't disconnect. It was completely pure. This anger was so pure that um, it was completely connected and it was completely. So that was for me a personal. Um, the absolute, um, um, in, in a personal, um, how do you say, um, in a, uh, the absolute being lived in a personal way, yeah, without losing the connection to God. So, and, and we can all be like that. We can all be um, mm -hmm. whatever we are in the moment without losing connection to Godhead. And, and that is what I feel is what you're trying to say now is, and that we can all become like that. And I think it's, um, if we get our ego out of the way, then, then, um, then everybody is connected to the absolute. And then everybody uh, starts to live what, 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 what God is meant to be without judging each other, each other. And, um, 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 and then the, for example, this, 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 this anger would be understood as being true instead of, uh, not being mastering, not mastering his emotions in this moment, in that moment, because he was mastering his emotions in that moment. You yeah, see, I, can you understand? I, and I think it's, and the, the integration of our personality, our, the complete integration of our personality and emotions without judge, without any judgment and without any, um ego ego being in the way is for me the absolute being lived yeah and yeah. the thing about this we have to be transformed we have to be spiritually reborn like jesus said you have to be spiritually transformed and reborn by going through the process of trans of of t making those material emotions spiritualized and and we cannot really do it ourselves. We have to follow yes. the real process of disciplic one. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord is through a guru. It's always given. It's always, yeah. yeah. It's always given. Lord, it's always the, given. Yeah, yeah. If, I agree with that. I mean, we, we can. Your anger is spiritual. And your all your emotions are spiritual from a past life, and you bring it into this life. You need to go through discipline line and meet a guru who is like that, and you can go through the transformation in their association. Otherwise, there's really no other practical way to do it. No, I, I agree with that. I mean, well, um, well, B Buddha did it without a, a guru, eh? so I mean, he was his own guru, and he got there no, too. He, no, but, no, no. Uh, but How also, you to, expressing um, I also feel that... true. I was just, I was just oh. getting there. <laughs> ah, yeah, I know that he wasn't enlightened. He's still up there. We... Yeah. So, but but um, because he was not completely a uh, person of person mm. personifying his enlightenment, and there that is know. what you mean. Yes, we get <laughs> each other. It. I know what you mean. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But boy, is, well, is it? No, it's, it's not hard. hard. It's, it's just. It's, oh my god. And you know, people. I, what I look at. It is. It's yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. wading through the mud, like you that. know. And yeah, like what I what I look at is how people express themselves oh. to their level of realization. Because it's to me, it's obvious. People speak what they are, you know, and they speak their level of realization. That's how it is for yeah. me, in personally for me how I see. So you know, people are you know what they say, you know, and yes. so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and you know, and what you see is what you get with me. So uh, no, it's good yeah. you're here. You know, I mean, grappling with this. You know. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's the first time I can do that, and it's the first time I can well, enjoy I'm, I'm it, and I'm really too, grateful right? for that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy you're sharing. <laughs> this is very important discussion, actually, because people are yeah, very important. You know, people need to. It is. Um, I mean, 
you know, like understand and through discussions, you know, these kind of discussions. I really feel that mm -hmm. like what we were just doing together w would be very enlightening uh, for yeah. many people to just listen and see. Uh, yeah, because um, the struggle in trying to understand each other and the struggle in trying to understand mm -hmm. what you really mean by what you are saying is making clear uh, to, to, to people who do not understand of what you mean, of what you yeah, are you trying know, to say. We have some... Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah, Thank there's a verse much. in some of our scriptures that kind of illustrate the point, especially at this level of this kind of uh, bhakti, this level of relating to the Lord in relationship. It's very hard to understand because our consci people's consciousnesses are at different levels, different levels of awareness. Yeah, but... but and it's also, you are, I, I completely agree with that, but because it's also very new. Before, the, the, the world was not ready for this kind of enlightenment, and, and it's now coming, and it's beautiful, uh, the, the, because now the time uh, is, is ready to be able, the, the energy was too low for this, but the, the energy on Earth is, is rising, so this kind of, of uh, enlightenment can be materialized, can be... Uh, yeah, materialized through our bodies, through our knowledge, through our through our conscience, because all of the work of all these old masters who let down their their like Buddha and then Rama and Krishna and uh, you know like and Satya Sai Baba and 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 uh, what's your Prabhupada. Uh, guru again? Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada. He is Vishnu, eh? Jesus, I have Jesus and AC Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada. Prabhupada. Yeah, but, but you know, um, yeah, J Jesus is also, you know, look, he, he um, what I was going to say about Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, he was very misunderstood, but, um, but um, he, he was still a martyr, eh? And that's not completely full either, eh? I mean, being a martyr is uh, is very nice, but he was still not in hell. Really. Eh? No, know what I mean? no, not really. He <laughs> so, was just, he spoke the uh, truth and, and, and they killed him for it. That's all. It happens. You know, a person who speaks deep. Yeah, yeah, but 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 a truly truly enlightened person um, doesn't have to go around and preach and 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 uh, so I mean, but that was his task. But and and that's why I say he was in help no, mode. He, didn't. he had no, to he help. Didn't. He had no, to. No, no, I, I think you're misunderstanding. I, I think. And but you can share yours. I tell you what, you share your perspective no, tell me. That's on, what I'm really on Jesus, and I'll share mine. Okay, so I'll listen to yours, and then you you tell, and then let me tell you I'm, mine. Okay, ready? Go ahead. I'm one. I'm wondering. I, I'm just wondering right now in this moment. Like um, uh, he had this task, and I don't think uh, there was much free will in that. You know. Because he, um, uh, like he, he knew, like please um, uh, let let this cup, uh, 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 please take take this cup from me. Yeah? when he had to, he knew he had to be cru crucified. So he knew there was no free will in 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 that moment, and so that's why I think um, there um, um, his 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 um, state of enlightenment also was. Um, um, not full because he had to do this task because if it would have been full he would not have uh, I would not have chosen to preach for example if I were him eh? because then I would have sat under a tree and be enlightened and be good you know and <laughs> because if somebody preaches it also um, uh, generates karma it generates um, attachment to uh, followers and devotees, and and um, and actually, it it um, it, it can it can um, um, how, ca um, not cage. It can bind. Um, Buddha said that he uh, was not he would not be free in I don't know how many years because of his followers. So. And and so he he knew he wouldn't be enlightened because there were there would be so very many followers. He 
that he, they were attached to him. And because of this attachment, he also had to, uh, he, he couldn't go up and he knew this. And, and um, so um, with Jesus, I feel, and now you tell me about what you <laughs> okay. think. Oh, That's yeah. enough. I said enough. Yeah. I'm All right. This is my perspective <laughs> on Jesus. Okay. Jesus didn't have to do what he did. He yeah. did it out of love. He did it out of love for the Lord and love for people. He even said that uh, you, they'll know you're my disciples by how you love each other. And so Jesus was, well, wait a second. Yeah, wait, so wait, you, wait, 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 wait. You said you're going to listen. Then you don't have a choice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I listen patiently. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so this is my perspective. Yeah, wait, I'll, I'll get it. Wait, wait, I have a get. Write them down. I, uh, if go. I write get questions, questions, I'll write them there down. Yeah. And then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, write then the I questions. Can, then I can there shut you. up. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so Jesus was free. Jesus yeah. was, uh, was um, um, in relationship with God. And that's why I say he's one of my gurus, because I can really relate to what he was teaching. Uh, it, it's inspired me to move deeper. And so Jesus was free in his relationship with the Lord. And he wanted to free others. And, and he was not bound to his disciples that way. His disciples were bound to him. And then because they surrendered to him as being representing God, then he became bound to them. So they were bound in this pure loving relationship. And this is free. This is, you, you're, not, you're not bound by any, there's no karma at all in this kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, this relationship busts karma. It dissolves it. Because if a person's truly self-realized at this platform, they're free of karma. See, all they do is dissolve the karma of their disciples so that they can become free too. So the guru is free and then the disciples are freed also. So there's no karma. There's no karmic relationship. Okay, okay we, we see it. We yeah. did, we, and uh, as far we as see, having see to preach, because it's I think not a having to preach. It's great mercy to preach because with preaching is the word from a realized soul that has realized perfect relationship with the Lord frees the world. People who hear from them, their illusion, their maya is dissolved from their word. Word's very powerful. Yeah. I think, um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I understand what you mean. And, and, uh, but I think there is positive karma also. And I think that's why his, his, uh, what he did was even greater uh, because I mean, and people think they, they that he will come back, and I believe he he will. So, um, and that would uh, if he would be free, then he would not have to come Again. back, you know. So uh, okay, go ahead. So, but so I think there's positive, okay, positive so, and negative. So karma. if he was yeah. a real, yeah. if he was in into positive and negative karmas. Uh, and 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 not free of that. I would never follow Jesus. I, I'm only interested in liberated souls, and and so Jesus, in my understanding perspective, is is free of positive and negative karma. He follows the path of devotion, and that's what we teach here: the path of love of God, the soul, and, it's and this is an eternal dance, Ross, dance of Ross. It goes on forever. Yeah. There's no karma yeah. involved. My my yeah. students here are yeah, okay. karma. They're getting their karma is dissolving. They very quickly actually. Yeah, I agree that karma is dissolving, but 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 uh uh the karma has has uh, uh you you um we, yeah. we just disagree yeah. on that and I understand and that's okay. Yeah. Just... yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's about, you know, and friendship and uh, uh, appreciation. It's not easy uh, to understand each other. No, no, but uh, but uh, I under I I un understand what you're trying to say, and uh, and it's good to uh, to know that. Yeah.
And uh, I can actually see what you mean now. For example, I see this other guru and I see that he uh, uh, has this um, freedom, but, but he's not emotionally uh, free yet. But, but because his um, discernment is so high, he, he can um, relate to others from a, from a, a, a certain kind of uh, enlightenment. You know what I mean? So, but uh, the, the, um, because he's, um, but it's mental, you know what I mean? Eh? It's mental. So there's a mental, mental uh, kind of enlightenment through which he can, uh, from, from there he's connecting, but it's not, um, yeah, I think I know okay. what you mean. And that's enough <laughs> okay, for good. today. Thank you so much. Good. Hey, well, thank you for sharing and, and um, yeah, and doing this dialogue. That's great. We all learn from it. Yeah. Okay. So let's see who else yeah. wants to come on here. Yeah. Anybody? What's your name? What's your name? Anita. Thank you, Anita. Thank Anita. you, Anita. So Anita. we'll, we'll, um, we'll see who else wants to come on. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how do you get that? Hare Krishna. <laughs> I have no idea. I have nothing new to say, but I I really oh, appreciate that I can yeah. talk to you nice. face to face. Yeah. Get over the mind, people. <laughs> Wow. I thought that was the best class in about three years, bro. Holy. Thank you so much, Tom, for inviting that girl She's on. Great, right? Andrea? She was Anisha? great. Man. Oh, my I love God. that. Maharaj. Feisty. Maharaj, yeah. that was. Feisty. That is going to be. That is going to, that is going to be edited, copied, paste, posted, <laughs> framed with flowers. I was I was jumping out of my skin. I was roaring at the camera. I was doing cartwheels. It was like, oh, straight out of stream out back with him, Jay Tanya Cherry Tom Richa and Pass Time for Prabhupada. This is awesome. Thank you, Tom, for sending this. Thank you, Krishna, for allowing Maharaj to get some good questions. That's time. Oh yes. Oh, I was so hungry. I was so, yeah, I was so hungry for that. I was like, come on. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was so good. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Wow. I was glued. I was glued to Yamuna Davies' feet, <laughs> screaming at my camera. Jesus Christ. It was so fresh, so nice, so tasty, so conclusive. So it was like music. It was like, oh, I could see her questions coming. And I could see you like battering up and going, <laughs> next one. This philosophy that we have is so tasty. Oh, shit. Oh, so much shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes. Wow. Wow. So great to be able to listen to that and watch you just, you know, allow it to come out and then give it a bit of conclusiveness and then allow it to come out and give it a bit more. Oh, it was master. Mastery. Master. Master. Hare Krishna. Thank you. About time to <laughs> finish now. <laughs> okay, you said what you had to say. Huh? That's great. <laughs> Thanks. Does Yamuna does Yamuna want to say anything? Is she there? Or... Okay. Uh, try her phone. Yamuna, do you want to you want to talk on my phone or your phone? There's a delay from the kitchen to the living room. Muna! Okay. She's okay. not answering me. All right. Well, thanks anyway, for sharing, Muna. Thanks, Mara. Woohoo!